welcome to another video from Vertical Attitude. This time I shall be fitting parking sensors or reversing sensors to the motorhome. I got this kit from Dolphin uh, off their main site. Uh, it's got four sensors to be fitted at the back. Uh, sort of that area. The reason why I am fitting these sensors is uh, while in France I am um, reversed into a low wall. <coughs> uh, there was a hedge and a low wall uh, which was partially covered by the hedge and I didn't see it uh, on my reversing camera. Uh, so therefore um, obviously I still got the camera and I thought what a good idea to put some sensors at the bottom of the vehicle as well. Uh, the effect it made a little hole or in the driver's side at the rear and um, I had that repaired and it did cost me a few hundred pounds so I thought well get one of these kits and uh, maybe I will not bump into walls okay this is the kit but, uh, inside the box obviously we've got some instructions here we got a, a audible and visual um, indicator that fits inside the vehicle. We've got a control box and we've got a hole saw for the sensors, uh, cables. Um, this is the motorhome kit, so you get uh, six meters, third, about 30 foot of cable for all these. Uh, this will be underneath the vehicle somewhere, plugged in and secured. Um, this has also got a long cable, so if you can't quite reach, then uh, this will uh, go under the vehicle, uh, cable tied in to join the box. So there should be enough uh, space there. Um, so we've got these little plastic bits as well. Um, I do believe they say that these give an angle, because um, these have got a, like a straight profile. So if your uh, rear of your vehicle, uh, your bump or whatever is at an angle, I believe you can use those adapters to uh, change the angle of the sensor. It does say in the instructions there are two dots right on the back there that must be aligned vertically. So uh, we will see, hopefully it will fit. I do have a tow bar on my vehicle. So first thing to do is do a little test, um, the position of these sensors, because um, I don't really want them to pick up on that. Uh, we'll see as we go along. So uh, hopefully you'll carry on watching and enjoy this video. And if you do, please give me a like. Okay, we're at the vehicle. Here's the tow bar. So obviously I can't have sensors down here and so I'm going to try positions either side hopefully it won't pick that up too much but if it does well we'll try and work around it um, so you, you connect your wire to the negative or earth position and then your live wire will go to the reversing uh, light here so obviously when you put it on that comes on and supplies power to the sensors as well. Um, when I damaged the vehicle, it was over on this side, there was a big hole in here, which has been nicely repaired. You can't tell the difference at all. Uh, there should be a, a picture um, that you can look at uh, before and after. It should be on screen now. So without further ado, we will test uh, the sensor, connect it up to a small battery and see if uh, we get interference or not. Okay, so here we go. This is a very crude setup. A bit of tape, as you can see, it is working. Um, obviously you're not in the correct direction, the control box. Um, little 9 volt battery uh, that's 
sensors over there. So as I walk towards it, it should uh, go off. Walking away, it has stopped. So that means the um, tow bar is not really being picked up. Obviously a different situation once we drill the holes and put them in, but I envisage um, something like that. So something like here, another one here, another one over there, over there. Obviously you get instructions for the correct distances and height of the sensors. So that's the next job is to find the center spot of the vehicle and then measure out the sensors from there. It keeps going off. Um, so yeah, it's not a perfect test, but I think it's adequate for the, um, the job. Right, so I've put some masking tape on. I found the center line. I've marked out 35 there and 35 from that one to that one. And the same there to that one. This is say um, 30 to 40 centimeters. I decided that uh, 35 would be quite adequate and cover the area that I need at the back. So the next job is to drill the first hole. Uh, but first I'm going to have a look underneath just to make sure there's no wires running behind here because obviously you don't want to cut into anything. Okay. Okay, so I've marked up. I've taken the width of that, found the center point. This is the drill uh, bit that comes with the kit. So that first hole. Cross fingers, good luck. Smooth this edge off. Um, so this sensors fit in there quite nicely, one hopes. So obviously a bit of plastic there. So I need to be careful when I drill in. As you saw there, that snatched a bit. So I need to go in very gently to get a grip. Okay, I've got the file. This has got a nice round edge on the back, so I'll use that side in the hole. I don't want to enlarge it too much, else the sensor will be too loose. So, hopefully. Just go around like that, smooth it off a bit. Okay. Right, I split the sensor in half, and obviously, remember to align these two holes vertically. So, I'm going to push this underneath and uh, from the other side. It's supposed to be a waterproof fitting, but uh, once I put it on and secure it, I should put some tape around it, some insulation tape. Just make it sure that it is waterproof. Okay, poke the wire through. Tighten this up. I 
nice and tight. Like I said, they say it's waterproof, but just to be sure, a bit of tape around it. Won't hurt. Covers the joint. Right, like you said, we've got two holes here. I notice one's sort of filled in, and the other one's sort of uh, a little bit empty. So I'm going to line it vertically, and I'm going to put the fill in one to the bottom. And if I'm wrong, you take the center out and put it to the top. Obviously, the wiring, etc. When I get underneath, obviously to secure it uh, with some clips and uh, make sure it's neat and tidy. Cable ties will do the job nicely. So I'm doing that like that. So hopefully, good idea to take the tape off and take. Pull that back out. Take this out of the way. Because what we want it a nice tight seating. So, right. Yep. So this is what we're doing. Pushing it back. fit. Okay, I should do the next three and then uh, we need to sort the wiring out underneath. Um, I should probably take it down the uh, driver's side, the off side, although the uh, reversing light is on the near side. So we'll see how long the cable reaches. Um, these are not that long, but you get an extension cable to go with that uh, makes the difference up. Again with these, once I plug them together, I should put some insulation tape around uh, to make sure they stay waterproof. Here we go. A nice neat job, if I do say so myself. You can hardly notice that there, but it all looks pretty good to me. So the next thing is to site where I'm going to put the control box and the uh, internal indicator in the cab. Well, okay, I've made the electrical connections I took this off and connected to the live wire and the live wire on here which is red and then I connected the negative wire to a place on the chassis uh, where other wires uh, grounded out so I've done that I connected all the wires together the box and the sensor and I found that I had to turn these around a bit. They did work, um, but I had to turn them around uh, vertically. Uh, they seemed to work better, better in that position. So on the control box, um, we've got a, an adjustment there, plus minus. I set it to plus, that was too much. Um, it was picking up the uh, tow bar and uh, so I just turned it off slightly and that seems to have done the job. And walking across the back and towards the vehicle, uh, then the indicators go off as well as the bleeper. So the next thing is to uh, cable tie all these wires. I should take it along there and up the driver's side. And then obviously fit in the uh, sensor unit uh, 
indicator in the front of the vehicle. So that's the next job. Okay, so I'll put this top unit here on the sensor there. I've chafed the wire down here. I've taken this cover off here, three screws. Then I've taken the foot well off, which is down there at the moment. And this is the wire, the thin wire. So I'll, I'm putting it along here. I found a grommet here, which goes through to the other side underneath the vehicle. Then this will join the control box a bit further down when I get it all um, tied in. So now I'm gonna put the foot well back and that back and uh, hopefully I'll get the rest of it finished today. Okay, here we go for the test. Yep. Working excellent. Just the job. It's got a visible indicator, also an audible one, and there's a switch on the top. So you can turn the audible off and then you just get a visible indicator, left or righty. Not a problem. Cool, job done. Okay guys, thank you for watching and uh, catch you on the next video.